The Rockford Ice Hogs open up their four-game road trip tonight as they pay a visit to the Grand Rapids Griffins. Joseph Zakrzewski with you for the Rockford Ice Hogs broadcast network and Ice Hog warm-up, and I'm joined alongside our newest member of the Ice Hogs and a Ford, Peter Holland. And Peter, first and foremost, welcome to the club. I know it's been a busy couple of days for you, but how are you settling in, and ultimately, how are you adjusting to your uh, new life as an Ice Hog? Pretty crazy. I wasn't expecting the trade at all, but uh, transition so far, I mean, it's only been a day, but it's been pretty good. Guys have welcomed me. Uh, I hope they don't give me a name test because I'm going to fail that one right now. But uh, I know a few guys, Marty, uh, Soupy Campbell, um, Davey a little bit. So, yeah, nice to have some, some friendly faces. And I was going to say, like, who has helped you adjust and answer any questions you might have about Rockford, the Rockford area, let alone how the Ice Hogs play hockey. And I, I saw that Andrew Campbell, you guys played together a little bit in the Toronto organization. How helpful has a guy like him been to welcome you in with open arms instead of completely new faces? Yeah, it's obviously comforting to have a familiar face. Uh, he texted me right away when I was traded. So we were going back and forth a little bit. I had a few questions for him, obviously. But, uh, yeah, like he said, it's just it's nice to have some familiarity when you come to a new squad. And with that also being said, you know Derek King pretty well. He was an assistant coach in Toronto. When you were with that organization as well, how has conversations been with him and ultimately getting you to fit into the X's and O's of the Ice Hogs? Yeah, good. Uh, I had him when I was with the Marlies there for a little bit. He was an assistant. Uh, absolutely loved him while I was there. And uh, he phoned me after the trade. He was uh, obviously excited to get it done. And um, nice to be reunited. Hockey's a small world. He seemed to run into the same guys over and over again. So, um, yeah, we're going to communicate going forward. And But tonight he just kind of wants me to go out and play my game and not worry too much about the X's and O's. Uh, that'll come with time. Well, speaking of your game, it's been an impressive one so far this year. 49 points. You now jump into the Ice Hogs lineup as their leading scorer, tied for six in the American Hockey League. What about your game do you feel like is going to fit in the best here with the Ice Hogs and what line mates you've been able to maybe tinker around with here during morning skate? You know what, I honestly, I have no idea. Like, I'm just honestly getting to know the guys. I, I just looked at the lineup sheet for the first time before coming out here to do the interview. So um, I, I see that I'm, I got Schrader on my right wing. Uh, I know he's a skilled player. He makes some great plays. So excited to see if I can build some chemistry with him. But, I mean, other than that, just go out and play my game. And, um, try and help this team offensively. And it's also an exciting part of time, or an exciting part of the year as well. Tail end of February, going into March, that's the playoff push, and the Ice Hogs right in the thick of things. How does that help you as a player get excited to join a new club and ultimately be in the hunt right in the Central Division? Well, it's a lot of fun when you're playing meaningful hockey games. Um, coming from Hartford, we were in, I think, dead last in our conference. So, uh, you know, it's nice to kind of jump into a spot where we can make a push for the playoffs and. Um, you know, that's fun. It's exciting. Like you said, it's the end of getting to the end of February into March. So it's a, it's a great time of year to be playing hockey. And of course, this is the first time the Ice Hogs fans get to get to know you, get to see you. What do you feel like your game is at, at the best at? What do you excel at? And ultimately, what positions do you wish you could jump in right away to get you acclimated as quickly as possible? Well, I think I definitely am going to help out on the power play for sure. Uh, puck distribution, uh, shooting the puck. Um, hopefully that'll be something I can I can compliment right away. Um, other than that, I just I try and play a 200 foot game. Five on five, um, chipping offensively, but also trying to be pretty steady in the D zone as well. So nothing too flashy, but uh, just trying to do my job. Now you're a veteran, of course, and you wore a letter with your organization in Hartford. I know it's only been a couple of days, but how is, in terms of a leadership aspect, how do you look to make your mark in that ice hockey locker room? Uh, well, I, like you know, I'm, I want to get the feel for things first, obviously. Um, let the guys who are who are the veterans here kind of take precedent, and I'll just kind of, you know, try and compliment them as well. Um, every now and then, I'll say something, and um, just because of my experience, you know, hopefully, guys will will absorb what I say. But I mean, like I said, I'm just going to try and find my way a little bit right now. Well, Peter, it's great to have you in the organization. Welcome to the Ice Hogs, and we look forward to seeing what you can do tonight against Grand Rapids. All right, thank you. For Peter Holland joining us here on the Rockford Ice Hogs broadcast network, Ice Hogs again kicking off their four-game road trip tonight, paying a visit to the Griffins out at Van Andel Arena. You've been listening and watching Rockford Ice Hogs hockey on the Ice Hogs broadcast network.